welcome back or welcome to my channel if you've never been here. This is Candidly Chaotic. I share about our homeschool, mom life, and family adventures. So if those are things that sound interesting or helpful to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and check out the rest of the videos. It does help my channel out when you subscribe and you know look around and like things and comment. So if you wanna do that, go ahead. So today I am sharing, I have joined, uh, I don't know, I guess the bandwagon. I've joined the bandwagon of the rolling cart homeschool life and I'm super excited and I'm not ashamed. Um, and so I just wanted to share how we are using our home, our three tiered cart. Uh, and for now, anyways, it may change as we use it. I have a lot of ideas of how we could use it. It was on sale at Michael's. And so I just wanted to snatch it up, see how we like it. Like I said, I have a lot of ideas for it. So it's not like we're stuck on this one idea that I'm going to try out. And I wanted to make a little extra space on our homeschool shelves for some books that my kids have been getting for Christmas and birthdays, as well as some other things that we're going to be using our shelves for soon. So let me turn the camera around and show you how I, for now, I'm going to try out organizing our three tiered rolling cart. So here's my Michael's three tiered rolling cart. Um, like I said, I got it on sale and so I was excited to be able to try this out. I've seen a lot of people use it a lot of different ways and this is how we are going to use it. Um, we homeschool mostly here at this table. It's a mess right now. I apologize. I am reorganizing our shelf and our books, but um, we usually organize at this table or organize. We usually homeschool at this table or in this room, sometimes in the chair, sometimes at the desk over here, which again is very messy because I'm reorganizing. Every once in a while we do it on the couch or, or even at our dinner table or when the weather is nice outside. So even though we mostly homeschool in here, um, we do move around some and I kind of like this that I can take all the stuff that we use on a normal basis wherever we go. Um, so I like that and I feel like this is going to make us a little more mobile if we want to be. So how I have done it is it's not everything we ever use, you know. There are some other things that we use every once in a while that I'll have to come to our shelves for, but this is the bulk of what we use almost every day. So the top here, I have things turned around because we don't have, I, I wanted it to be this direction, you know, like across, but we don't have enough to fill it up. And so they were real, they were falling over. And so this way they fit better and they don't fall over. They stay, stay put when I'm rolling it around. So this bin is my, my son's like, you know, the book that he reads, the workbooks that he does, his part of school. And then this bucket, I'm sorry, my dogs are barking at something outside. Um, this bucket is my teacher stuff. And then in the middle here are just, we just have two binders. And so just, they fit better. Um, you know, they stand up better than these books do, so they didn't need to be in a bin. But this is our Bible. This is the teacher version, so it's next to my teacher stuff. And this is my son's daily learning notebook, and so it's next to his stuff. All right, I think I got my dogs to stop barking. So then I moved down here to the third row. I'm not sure. So this book, um, we we do some morning time, circle time singing and things and do some nursery rhymes for my three-year-old. And so we use this book probably every other day. Uh, so I just wanted to have that on there. We always do the, the weather and our calendar. And so this is weather stuff. And then this month's, excuse me, this month's cards. And so it's just right there. And then I made a bucket full of things that we use almost every day or it just maybe not necessarily every day but like this is our all about reading cards my son uses a highlighter sometimes when he's reading and then I use these pens to mark off um on our attendance sheet or whatever and then we have some other all about reading things that 
like tiles and the tiles and things. So I put those in here in case we come across a lesson where we need them. And then here's just a couple math manipulatives. We have a little bag of money. And then we do flashcards probably twice a week. And the time thing, whenever it comes up, I just wanted it to be handy wherever we are. I didn't have to want to run back if I, you know, come to realize, oh, we need this. And then I have my, both my sons have a crayon box. And these we started using, not actually for school, but for traveling. And then when we started back up with our new routine here in January, I realized that my son needed, my older son needed to have a couple things every single day. And we were getting them out all the time anyways. And to help him to be able to start to work more independently, it's just all here. So he has an eraser. He has two dry erase markers, uh, both the colors that he picked for his daily learning notebook. He has a pencil. He does have some markers that he got to pick out. Crayons. And then they got chapstick in their stockings, so they keep that close by. And then this is my three-year-old, just in case he decides he wants to color along. Um, he just has a mixture of markers, crayons, a pencil eraser, and then his chapstick. So that's in there, so that way we have it whenever we need. And then on the fourth row, um, this is kind of a hodgepodge. This is my teacher, you know, planning and, um, yeah, I guess my teacher planner binder. And then... This is all stuff, we don't do this every day, but this is on our loop schedule, uh, which I think I've talked about before. This is on our loop schedule, so this is his nature notebook, which he actually just pulls out uh, not very much in the winter time, but he pulls out whenever he wants. And every once in a while we have a lesson on it. This is our science, his drawing book, we do logic every once in a while, and then Spanish and uh, ah, sign language. And so these things we don't use all the time, but they are in our loop schedule. So if we get to do them, I wanted them to be nearby. So I apologize, the lighting is kind of weird right here, but um, so that's our three tiered rolling cart. I'm excited, we haven't used it yet. I just organized it. So we haven't actually gotten to put it into use, but I am excited to have everything right there. Um, it's not very far from my school, like the table that my son usually schools at to the shelf. But I was finding that I was pulling all the stuff off the shelf every day, bringing it over, setting it down in a pile, going through it, and then having to go put it away again. And it just felt like it's not a big deal, but I, I just wanted to be a little bit more efficient. And I think this will make it a little bit more efficient and it will make it so that we can move around a little bit more easily if we want to. Because my my kindergartner does enjoy schooling in different areas, sometimes just for a change of pace. And that is how I do it. If you have a three-tiered rolling cart or maybe a couple, please let me know in the comments what you use yours for and any cool organizing tips that you have for it. I do want to get some other, I don't know, I guess accessories for it to make it exactly what we want. So if you have any tips on what you use for yours, use for those, please let us know in the comments and I will see you all later.